Hi there, Ross Drury from the Success Crew here at Zeppelin. In this video, we're gonna have a look at how we inspect some of our artboards and designs that we've brought through from Sketch. So I've previously created this project. We've got four screens here, and I'm gonna drill down into the guide screen and start to inspect the elements that we have here on screen. Now, the first thing you'll notice that as we move our cursor around, some of the areas or components on this screen will highlight in blue. If we select one of those, it will give us the dimensions. In this case, it's giving the dimensions in pixels. And then as we move our cursor to uh, another component, you'll see that it gives us the corresponding distance between the one that we've selected and the one that we're hovering over. So in this case, there's 24 pixels difference between these two components. And likewise, as I continue to move my cursor around the screen, that will give me the relative distance. As I select different elements here, you'll notice that the information that is displayed in the right-hand panel also changes relative to that item that we have selected. So in this case, I've selected some copy uh, underneath the uh, Norway card. You can see that it gives you the location of that on the screen, also the width and height of that particular field, that area. If there is a component which has been defined and we have it in our style guide, then we will see that here. Then underneath, we'll also have an indication of what typeface, what font, what size that is, and also the color as well. And the icons on the right-hand side indicate that these aren't yet part of our style guide, but if we were to select these, we would be able to add um, them to our style guide. And we'll come back to style guides in another video. Underneath that, we have the content, which in this case is the copy. Uh, so we would be able to take that copy uh, by pasting it to our clipboard and reusing it elsewhere. And then underneath that, we have our CSS code snippet, which a developer may use to take and start developing with. Um, you'll notice that I can copy this with this icon here, but next to it is the option to open up our extensions panel. Now, at the moment we have CSS, but it might be that we're looking for other code snippets and if they aren't already installed, then you can go and explore for additional extensions that we have in our extensions library. This will open up uh, the web page where we store those extensions. And if you scroll down, you can see that we have a number of extensions that have been created by Zeppelin, as well as many others that have been created by uh, developers in our uh, community. So if I was to head back to um, our extensions page here, we have a number of other options as well about what uh, is shown in the code snippet. And that would give us the ability to control the content of what the engineers receive. Now, this is the basic uh, view here. And essentially, the, the main intent of Zeppelin is to provide ease of use and ease of handover from the designer to the developer, providing all the dimensions and the code snippets that we need. 